Canto friends! Welcome to Can't Ease with Brittany. I'm Brittany and this is my husband. I'm Jared. Jared, what did you think of that new intro? I really liked it. Yeah? That intro was actually specially made by one of my friends, Naomi, who is a uh, lo-fi artist. From Japan, right? Yes, and um, I think I've mentioned her on our socials a few times. And so if you guys are into lo-fi, definitely check her out on Spotify and YouTube and give her a subscribe. So today we have a pretty fun game we're going to be playing with Jared. So. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this, and I think Jared has as well, the go, 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 go. I know that one. Can you say it? Uh, go, 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 go. That was pretty good. Can you say it faster? Go, 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 go. That was pretty good. So these are in English called tongue twisters, but in Cantonese it's kap hao ling. Kap means like in a rush, and then hao is mouth, and ling. Uh, it means something. It means something. So we're not going to stop there. Today we're actually going to introduce you guys to a few more kap hao ling and we're going to test Jared. So I can say ahead of time I practiced a little bit on these because I mean I know them and I had to like research them so they're still really hard. So would you like to start off with a few warm-ups in English to warm up your face muscles? Sure, if you think it'll help. Peter Piper pecked a pick. Oh. Peter Piper picked a peck of pebble. If Peter Piper picked a peck of paper, <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? That's pretty good. Yeah. I think we're ready. Are we warmed up? I think so. Awesome. So the first one is. <laughs> Oh, the problem is I don't know where the each word stops yeah. and starts. Maybe do it again. Okay. I definitely think it's easier when you can read the Chinese because then like there's no question about what the tone is. Hmm. Whereas like if you look at the Yuping, it's just like a bunch of like Z's and Y's and U's and it's just like I think it's more confusing looking at the like the Yuping. Well. I can't read Chinese. So. <laughs> I'll break it down for you first. T scene is crazy. Mm -hmm. So T scene, T chu, is a, a spider. Mm -hmm. um, D, D, G, C. So D, spider silk. Spider silk, yeah. T chu, like stick on. Oh, I didn't know that one. Oh. T chu. Yeah. D, su, D. Su, D. Yeah, so a su, D is like a branch. Su, tree, and T is. Yeah. Like a. The measure a stick, word. yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so the measure word for so, stick. Ti xin ji ju di ji ju si ti ju ji su ji. Oh, that's pretty good. Ooh, that was okay. Ti xin ji ju di ji ju si ti ju ji su ji. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll try to say it one time really fast. Ti xin ji ju di ji ju si ti ju ji su ji. Oh, that's pretty good. I think you got me beat. Ti xin ji ju di ji ju si. Ti xin ji ju di ji ju si. I can't. Oh, that was really good. Oh man, I lost that it though. That was good though. <laughs> that was good. Oh, Jared, good yeah. job, good job. That one's that, hard that's too. That's about as fast as I can go. Because they're almost all one tone, like first tone. First tone, yeah. Yeah. So let's move on. It's going to be a little harder. It's not the hardest though. Quat gum, quat gut. I'll read the Chinese actually. It's easier. Quat, I think. Quat gum, quat gum, quat gum. I can't. can't even get out the gate. Quat gum, quat gut, quat gum gut, quat kai quat, quat kai quat quat, quat kai quat, quat yun kai quat, quat gum gut, quat yun kai quat, quat kai quat. Okay. Wait, where did the kai come in? Did I ever say kai quat? That was hard. There's a lot of kai and that kai. Is a, that and is a tough one because that's like three times as long as the first one. Okay. So let's let's go through it. What what am I saying? Okay. Quat gum is like dig tangerine. Are you sure? Yes, I looked these up. This is like those little tiny like. But why would you dig it, tangerine? Doesn't matter. Sometimes these these tongue twisters. A little nonsensical. Yeah, they're nonsensical. It's just really to be fun and you know twist your tongue. Dig tangerines. Okay. You know those little cuties? Mm -hmm. That's a gum. Gum. Yeah. Quat gum. Quat gut. Quat is like a even smaller tangerine than mini tangerines. Okay. And then quat gum gut, and those are kumquats. Quat gum gut. Yeah. Okay. What is to dig, right? Could you imagine if it's the word berry instead of dig? It is to dig. Yeah. Okay, I'm right. I should trust myself more often because I, I don't trust my own candy. You should trust, but you should always verify. That's true. Quat kai quat 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 kai quat. So dig chicken dig bone dig chicken bone. 
กดกั้มกดกัดกดกั้มกัดกดกายกดกดกดกายกดกดยืนกายกดกวายกั้มกัดกดยืนกวายกด Oh, it's กดกวายกด So you're digging. You're not digging chicken bones. You're digging tur turtle bone. กดกั้มกดกัดกดกั้มกัดกดกายกดกดกดกวายกดกดยืนกายกดกดกั้มกัดกดยืนกวายกดกดกายกด Ooh, that was good. A little better. These are like some good party tricks, Jared. Next time at my family karaoke parties, you can throw out a guy what? I I need to rehearse a little more before uh, <laughs> it's it's ready for the big stage. I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay, what come what cut what gun cut what guy what 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 guy what what yun guy what what gum cut what yun guy what? Oh, I said that one wrong. What yun guy what what gun what? Almost. <laughs> Let us know how you guys do in the comments, because this is really tough for me. Next one. So this one also has guai and gai in it. So, but there's other words in it, so maybe it'll be a little easier in different like rhythm. Yap manyakan guai, chap manyakan gai, kui wa guai guai go gai, ngo wa gai guai go gai guai, gam gao ging guai guai go gai, ding hai gai guai go gai. Something about. Chicken is more expensive, or something. Yeah. So, yaman yakan kwai. So, one dollar for a gun of turtle. I think it's caddy. Is that right? Have you heard that word before? I've never heard that before. Okay, I, I'm not sure about that. One dollar for a caddy, I guess, of turtle. Mm -hmm. Seven dollars for a caddy of chicken. Okay. Yep, man yakan kwai. Kui wa kwai kwai go kwai. Yeah. Turtle is more expensive than chicken. Oh yeah. So I say chicken is more expensive than turtle. Okay. Like so, and then gauking is like, uh, in fact, like what in fact? I think I've heard that. Gum gauking, guai guai go guai, ding hai. <laughs> well, the answer seems to be in the beginning because it's pretty obvious. Exactly. Which tut is more than yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is actually a pretty good way to practice your tones. To like, do it right, yeah. yeah. And it's like a fun way to practice your tones, especially if you have like a native speaker or like a heritage speaker to practice with you. Let me give it one more shot. So yap man yat kan guai, tut man yat kan guai, kui wa guai 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 guai. Guai guai guo guai, gum gao ging guai guai guo. It's okay, Jared. You can't win everyone. Next one. Next one. This one's short, but I think it's one of the harder ones for me because I didn't actually know some of these words before going into it. Or actually, not that I don't know the words. It's just like I I don't use these words. Yao cai suk suk song sen sen suk sen chuk song chut. Okay, I have no idea what that means. This is like a level 10 of difficulty for okay. me. I've heard this, like my cousin, she introduced this one to me and everyone in the room was like, Yeah, which high sook sook is the Mr. Postman. The postman uncle? Yeah. Song sun. Delivers letter? Yeah. Sun sook, which is skillfully. Okay. And then sun chok. Sun chok. Is swiftly. Skillfully and swiftly. Yeah. Song chok is like, Song chit di sen. Delivers it out. Yeah. So, yao cai sok sok song sen sen sok sen chok sen chok song song. This is so hard for me. I didn't know the words for sen sok and sen chok. Yeah. Yao cai sok sok song sen sen sok sen chok. Butchered the tone. That was yao cai sok sok song sen sen sok sen chok. Song chut. That's hard. That is very hard. And it's hard because all the suns or like the sun are all different too. I think this one's harder because the tones, like in a lot of the other ones, it was just like mainly one tones. Yeah. This one, it's like yao cai sok sok sung sun sun sok sun chok sung chut. That's pretty good. Is that is that better? That was better. The syllables are similar, but the tones are different. I don't know. It's hard. Let me try it one more time. Yao cai sok sok sun. I just start with sun when it's song sun. You song sun one more time, and if I don't get this, we're moving on, and it, I would, we'll put an official fail mark on this. <laughs> okay, yao cai sok sok song sun sun sok sun chok sun. This that... one's deceptively hard. Yeah, it's like really short, but yeah. I mean, it's... do I pass on that one? No, that's a big fail. Dang. Big fail. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I think we have one more. I think this one seems hard, but it's not as hard if you know what it means. Yep, sat yim sat, gum gun gup jai. Yep, sick mut sat yim sat, gum gun sup gol gun gup jai. I have no idea what this one means. Okay, so yep, sat yim sat, you're going into the laboratory. Sat yim or sat. Yeah. Sat sat yim sat. Oh my gosh, I've been saying sat yim sat. It's sat yim sat. Yep, sat yim sat. Yep, sat yim sat. Yeah. Gum gun. Gup zai. So it's gun gup zai is like an emergency button. Gup zai. Zai? Yeah. Gun gup zai. Gup zai. Gun gup zai. Gun. Gum gun gup zai. No, no, it's not gum gun. It's gun gup zai. Oh, not pressing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think so. Yup, sat yin sat. Gum gun. Gum gun gup zai. Now you messed me up. I actually didn't even think of that. Because I just knew that an emergency button was gun cup sai. But now I'm thinking about it. He psyched me out. Yup, sat yin sat, gum gun cup sai. Yup, sick mat sat. Yup, sick mat sat yin sat. Sat yin sat, gum gun sap ko gun cup sai. So you go into the laboratory, you're pressing, uh, you press the, the emergency button. Okay. Go into the food laboratory, sick mat sat yin sat. Sat yin sat. sat. Gum gun, you're pressing 10 uh, emergency button. Like okay. this. You know, like at the endings, there's like the sat and the yup. Like those. Oh, the unaspirated consonants? Yeah, whatever. the unaspirated consonants. That's what's really hard because it's like when you speak naturally, you just like fall on it, you know? But here it's like you have yup, sat, yim. It's like P T M T. Hmm. So it's really hard. Anyways, I'm gonna stop making excuses. I'm just gonna start trying. Um, yep, sat, yim, sat. Gum gun gup zai, yup, sick mat sat, sat yin sat, gum gun sap go gun gup zai. That was Mama Tela. Got it right, but it was pretty slow. I don't think the viewers are impressed. Do, do, <laughs> do, do. It's hard too because I don't know a lot of these words. Like the only word yeah. I know is the word for button. Yeah. <laughs> yup, sat yim sat, gum gun gup zai, yup, sick mat sat yim sat, gum gun sap go gun gup zai. I mean, that was like slow as a guai. This is good tone practice. Like I if you so. can do these right at a fast pace with the right tones, you know, you're, yeah. I you, would, you get uh, the Cantonese with Britney stamp of approval. I wouldn't even like try to do it fast. Like if you're practicing tones. If you're practicing tones, yeah. build it up. Yeah, but, but it's I mean, fun. You're not to... gonna impress anyone when you're, if you go super slow. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try it one more time. Yep, sat yin sat. Yep, sat yin sat. Channel your brain power. Yep, sat yim sat, gum gun gup zai. Yep, sick mat sat yin sat, gum gun sap go gun gup zai. Pass. Ooh, thank you. I just had to like, you know, regroup, I think, at the comma, and then that kind of helped. All right, let me give it one more try. Okay. Yep, sat yim sat, gum gun gup zai. Yep, sick mat sat yim sat, gum gun sap go gun gup zai. That was close. You messed up on the gum. I did? Gum? Yeah, it's supposed to be gum. Unsurprisingly, the heritage speaker beats the adult learner. Yeah, so. but I was surprised how close we are on this, honestly. Like, well, the Yute Ping really helps. I do consider myself a bit of a Yute Ping champion. Uh, <laughs> kind of. I would recommend you learners out there, you know, pick a romanization system, mm -hmm. whether it be Yute Ping or Yale, whatever. It is good to, uh, good to know how to write words, be able to look them up. Mm -hmm. I agree. And uh, if you have a... Uh, Someone you want to pester with tone practice, I think this is a pretty fun way to do it. Mm -hmm. This is something we've talked about before, like finding a fun way to practice is always, you know, motivating and keeps you on track in terms of your practice schedule. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had fun doing it with you. I hope you guys also tried some of these tongue twisters for yourselves and let us know in the comments how you guys did. I'm usually in the comments for about the first hour of when we post, so be sure to come and say hello. Yeah, and uh, if you have any more Cantonese tongue twisters, you can leave them down there too. Yeah. As always, we'd like to thank our patrons for their support. Um, <laughs> and a special shout out to our Thailoban patrons. And normally at this point, we'd plug our Patreon, which is a great source for Cantonese learners, but we all know studying is for nerds. So instead we're gonna plug our merch. <laughs> and hey, our God. channel membership. <laughs> No, just the merch. Oh, okay. Check it out in the shop, cantonesewithbrittany.com. A uh, great way to support the channel. For those of you who are interested in supporting the channel and also look in fresh. I think Jared looks pretty legs in this hoodie, right? But I kind of want to talk about the channel memberships a little bit. 
because I like the emojis that I made for you guys and it's really cool when I get to see you guys in the comments being like haha and my little Cantonese with Britney icon with the heart eyes and there's a little tiny zini yeah all right hot tea jargon bye bye As a little bonus, do you know any like German tongue twisters? Ooh, I knew some like yeah. back when I was still living in Germany. Okay. Um, I, I feel like it... German in general, like they have those like really long words. That's kind of like a tongue twister on its own. You know, they go like a. Yeah, they, they like their compound nouns. Well, just as a fun fact, in German, you call tongue twisters Zungenbrecher, which is tongue breakers. Ooh. So everything in German is a little bit more intense. Um, <laughs> all right, we have den Fliegen hinter Fliegen fliegen, Fliegen fliegen hinter Fliegen her. What does that mean? So when flies are flying behind flies, they're, the flies are flying after the flies. Okay, let me try. I, I can't really read German, but when fliegen hinter fliegen 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 hinter fliegen her. Yeah, that's pretty Ooh, good. That was, that's actually kind of easy because all I'm saying is fliegen. Schnecken erschrecken, wenn sie an Schnecken schlecken, weil sie <laughs> zum Schrecken viele Schnecken schnecken nicht schmecken. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> so it's um, snails get scared when they lick snails because to the fright of other snails, the snails don't taste very good. I mean, oh, that's it's, pretty cute. Schnecken erschrecken, wenn sie an Schnecken schlecken, was sie zum Schrecken viele Schnecken schnecken nicht schmecken. Schnecken erschrecken, wenn sie in Schnecken schlecken, weil zum, zum. Oh, zum Schrecken viele Schnecken schnecken nicht schmecken. <laughs> schmecken. <laughs> Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. Ooh, that sounds hard. Yeah, so like it's like cabbage is always cabbage and a wedding dress is always a wedding dress. I think I can do that. Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. That one's a tough one. I think I, I nailed it with the... The, the pronunciation. It wasn't like schmecken.